Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. Today we have a reservation for Disneyland, which is currently a little bit busy to get into right now. I'm guessing it's due to the weather right now. If you guys couldn't guess, it's raining. <laughs> like the floor's wet and it's raining pretty strong, a lot stronger than it was last week. But uh, I'm not sure how long this is supposed to go on for. I did check the weather and right now it says it's not raining, even though it, you know, it currently is. <laughs> but anyways, I think we're gonna head inside the park and uh, see what we've missed in the past couple of days. But like I did mention, the entrance of the park is a little bit busier than usual. Everybody's in their raincoats and using their umbrellas. Look at that. And about 10 minutes later, and we're inside the park. See? Go City Hall. But I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like the park is kind of busy, even though it's raining. I'll let you guys decide, but to me, it looks a little bit busy. See? Sidewalks are all busy. Walking down Main Street looks pretty busy. Castle looks cool though, it's awesome. But anyways, we're gonna be starting this trip like every other trip over here at the Emporium. I know some merch dropped on Shop Disney, so I'm hoping they arrived here today. So we're gonna go inside and check. But anyways, we just got inside the Emporium and man, it is pretty busy in here. Everybody's trying to like hide out from the rain. <laughs> but uh, some of the merchandise I was mentioning that dropped on Shop Disney did arrive, but mm, I, I didn't see all of it, but I did see some of it. So let me go show you guys. All right, so this is the merchandise that dropped. It's part of the Disney 100 Decades. So it looks like right now we're on 1930s, I believe. Here's a new lounge flight bag for that. It's the band concert, Mickey, I believe is what it's called. This bag is nice, look at that. It's green. It says Disney 100 Decades. And on the back says Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse and the band concert. This one's $88 and then like always, let me go and show you guys the inside. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I love the inside. It's lime green, like the outside, or like this part. And it's got Mickey, and it's just really colorful, I like it. I also like how you can move his arms around. <laughs> like one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> but besides the new lounge fly bag, here's the other item that dropped. It's three little pigs. Here's how they look out of the uh, little bag that it comes in. It's cool. In case you're interested, this one is $44.99. But besides the plush and the lounge fly bag, the other item we we're supposed to get was a pair of Snow White ears and I think some, some magic bands, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm checking out the ear wall here at the Emporium and I'm not seeing any new ears just yet. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think these were sold out. It looks like they're back. They still have the Easter ears, in case you're looking for those. Uh, I think these made a comeback. I feel like I haven't seen these in a while. Looks like they're $34.99, I'm guessing. And then looks like the 100 ears are $39.99. Well, sadly, no new ears. I did look for them in the ear wall. I couldn't find any. Uh, and then I did look for the Magic Band as well, and I couldn't find it either. So I think we're just gonna leave the Emporium now. I walked outside hoping that I wouldn't need my umbrella, but it's still raining. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna need this. So I'm realizing that today's gonna be pretty tough to film. <laughs> Cause when I go inside the stores, I put my umbrella away because that way, you know, I can have both my hands so I can show you guys the product and hold it and all that, all that stuff like usual. And I can't do that with, uh, with while holding the umbrella, so I have to put it away. So like every time I go into the store, I have to put it away, and then when I get out of the store, I have to take it out again. So it's just, it's kind of a hassle, but that's all right, we'll, we'll get through it. So right now we're in the kit section between China Closet and Disney Clothiers. And last time I did a live stream, uh, one of you guys asked like what kind of raincoats they have. And I showed you guys one of them, and then it looks like they have tons of this one as well. It's like the foodie one. It's got pretzels, apples, ice cream bars. Looks like they have sizes extra small to uh, large currently. And in case you're interested, this one is $54.99. Well, in case you're wondering why I didn't show you guys Disney Clothiers or Plaza Point, is because I didn't find anything new. <laughs> and then same with the China Closet, I didn't find anything new there either. So last time I was here at Candy Palace, I showed you guys the St. Patrick's Day treats, and it looks like they still have the Rice Krispie treat for, it looks like $6.99. Still have the Easter treats, uh, the cupcakes, but here's something new. It's like, it's like a, I wanna say it's like a Rice Krispie s'mores. Looks delicious. It's got the graham cracker, marshmallow, drizzle chocolate, and then little Mickey shaped chocolates. <laughs> Looks like this one's $5.99. Alright, so that's basically everything I was able to find on Main Street today, which is right behind me. I think now we're gonna head to the rest of the park. Uh, the only thing I will not be covering in this video is Toontown. I think I'm gonna do that in a separate video, so. If you guys don't see it in this video, it's because it's, a, it's on a different video. I swear, rain or shine, Tomorrowland is always busy. 
Look at all these strollers. Look at all these people. They're everywhere. So we just got inside the Star Trader and I think I showed you guys this a couple weeks ago. They had this Grogu with armor. Never has a price, but I think they're $14.99. But looks like we got two other Funko Pops in. We got the Mandalorian himself. Holding something that looks like a slug. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But that's a cool Funko. Mando always looks cool in a Funko Pop. And then they also have Luke Skywalker and Grogu. Look, he's got them on his back. Just like he had Yoda. <laughs> I don't want to break the rules and go behind the counter to check out this print, but I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> Look at this thing. Well, there's only one left. This is a sick Ahsoka print. This one's... Oh, it doesn't say. I think they're usually like in the $40 to $50 range, if I'm not mistaken. And then they also have... I don't think this is a postcard. It looks like a minier version of the print. And again, no price. They also have this print, which if I'm not mistaken, I think they're all Padme. Just different versions of her. So going back to the Funko Pops, it looks like they have tons of Luke, tons of Grogu. The only ones I'm not seeing too many of is uh, the Mandalorian. I think the one I picked up was the only one I saw in store. I came to the entrance to show you guys the Mando Funko again, and look, it's gone. <laughs> Jeez, that was fast. I cannot believe how fast the Star Trader sold out of those Funko Pops. <laughs> At least now you guys know. If you guys see it, make sure you guys buy it because they're sought after for sure. Uh, I'm sure you guys can find it at War the Disney or uh, the Trading Post in Downtown Disney, but as far as tomorrow uh, or Tomorrowland, it's gone. But we came into Tomorrow Landing to see if they have that new Magic Band that I was telling you guys about. They dropped on Shop Disney, but looks like we have no luck. But something else did drop here, so let me go and show you guys. So this is something else that just arrived at Shop Disney today. It's Clarabelle and Horace. And look, Clarabelle's bell actually rings. <laughs> Okay, interested in these pins, these are $29.99. So Shop Disney's Instagram posted this, and so far I've been able to show you guys the launch fly bag, the three little pigs, and the pins. The only thing left is the Snow White ears and the Clarabelle and Horace Magic Band. But anyways, that's basically it for Tomorrowland. I think now we're gonna check the rest of the park. I swear it doesn't matter if it's raining or if the sun's out, the castle looks gorgeous always. Look at that. They have like the fountains going on the sides. Looks great. Well, thankfully, it looks like the rain is starting to slow down a little bit. But anyways, I think our next stop is going to be Pioneer Mercantile. So earlier I mentioned that somebody on my live stream last week asked about the raincoats here at Disneyland. And I showed you guys the snack or the foodie one earlier. And then this is the second one that they have that I know of anyways. It's Minnie Mouse holding balloons. Nothing on the back. Looks like sizes range from an extra small to... Or they currently have extra small, small, and medium and it looks like this one retails for $54.99. So I've seen this before. I believe it's like a dress, or like a really long shirt that can work as a dress. <laughs> but now they have this one. It's got Minnie Mouse and polka dots. This one's $39.99. Sizes range from an extra small to a 3X. And then they even got the pants to match. Pants are $54.99, and they have sizes large, extra large, 1X, 2X, and 3X. Well, sadly, not a whole lot new inside of Pioneer Mercantile, but it looks like the Mark Twain is back up and running. Look. So I think I kind of want to ride that next. So I don't know about you guys, but I know a lot of people prefer to go, like, upstairs. I prefer the first floor, or the first deck, and this bench. It looks like we're taking off. I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like we're moving faster than usual. <laughs> I feel like we're moving pretty quick. But, like I mentioned earlier, the park looks pretty busy today. Passing Pirate Turn Out, which is a 30 minute wait. Yeah, I can't imagine us riding anything today, sadly. <laughs> it's just too busy. For a second, I thought this bird was fake. Look, he's like posing there. But he moves. <laughs> he's like, this is my island. So I think I've told you guys this in the past, or I've showed you guys this on like a past live stream or something, but 
I showed you guys, there's like a hidden Mickey you can see from like the caves that are actually co uh, coming up. My friend Timothy was the one that showed me about that. So uh, let me see if I can find it for you guys and I'll show it to you. All right, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's coming up. It's like in this area right here. All right, so I was wrong. So it's not this side. I think it's more down this way. Sorry, it's hard to find this one, but we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it for sure. There it is. Okay, let me zoom into it. Okay, pay attention to this. Look at that. Hidden Mickey. I personally would have never known about that Hidden Mickey if it wasn't for Timothy, so thank you, Timothy. And that's the end of the ride. It was a lot of fun. I love the Mark Twain, and I'm glad that it's back in use. Gotta give that band a lot of props. But even with this weather, they're still out entertaining guests. <laughs> so we're about to head to our next and final stop. But I wanted to show you, look, Pooh's out right now taking photos with guests. He has a long line, look. <laughs> but just in case you're wondering what our last stop of the day is, we're inside of Pooh Corner. So every time I come to Pooh Corner, I always check out the Noemo section. And it looks like they have basically, or mostly every plush, except for Edna still. They still don't have Edna or Looks like they're out of Alice, but they do have Marie, White Rabbit, Pooh, Stitch. They have Tiana, Moana. They have Anna, Elsa, Hulk. They have Roots, Chip, Dale, Goofy, Pluto, Daisy, Donald. Uh, one random Dale there. They got Minnie, Mickey, and Oswald. Looks like you can find these like bronze penny <laughs> looking ears. So far, I've seen these in every store that I've gone into. So in case you're looking for these, you can find them basically at Disneyland, <laughs> anywhere. All right guys, but anyways, that's basically everything I was able to find in the park today. Uh, I know I know we didn't go to Galaxy's Edge and that was on purpose. I'm trying to avoid the rain, so we're gonna just take off now. But uh, we'll definitely check it out on our next trip here. Also, be on the lookout for a separate Toontown video because I filmed one today as well. So be on the lookout for that. But anyways, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.